So there we go, the Jelly Bean update. The first update is 128 megabyte update, very short update. I got this uh, notification when I came back home from work. So we'll go fast forward through that update, all that boring stuff. Uh, the 128 megabyte update is required before you get the main 356 megabyte update. Um, it's definitely larger, probably not the correct numbers they have stated, but it's a, a larger file with the second update. So this first one's pretty fairly quick as you fast forward through the boring stuff. Once you've done the first update, you can go into about phone, check for software up there, and you'll have another update available. It should be the larger one containing Jelly Bean and the HTC Plus 4.1 or HTC uh, Sense Plus, as I should say. And uh, or you'll get a prompt letting you know that you've got the second update available. And there you have it, the update's finally completed. It took around about 20 minutes, I reckon. I did leave my phone to update when I went downstairs to watch a bit of TV for about half an hour, but when I came back, the update was done. So it could have taken about 20 minutes. We're saying max half an hour is is a long update, so it's best to just leave the phone there for about 20 minutes and come back to it after that. As you can see, it's going to the settings. You can see there it's 4.5. Uh, one one Android Jelly Bean with HTC 4 Plus. That's all from this video. Now we'll have a full review of HTC Jelly Bean 4.11 and of course the Sense 4 Plus review of all that this big update and what it brings and show you some of the features that arrived in it in a separate video. What I will say though is the battery life has improved remarkably since the update and i'm really happy with that also really happy with some of the features like google now and so on and i'll be doing a series of videos of those coming up so if you want to see those hit the subscribe button also like the video as well give it a thumbs up really does help in producing the content guys so make sure you do that and I leave a comment if you've got any questions below the other video should be hitting by the weekend so make sure you subscribe to get that video plus there'll be a whole lot of more videos coming as well before the end of the year so make sure you subscribe to get those and in January of course is CES 2013 we're gonna have all the latest news all the top tech news from that event every single day right here on RME TV so make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to get all the news from CES 2013 during January until the next time we'll see you goodbye